Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Just received a call to go and pick up some monitors. I believe there's about 20 of them. Don't know if they're flat screen monitors or old CRT TVs, monitor style. Uh, but we'll soon find out, so just waiting to uh, to go and grab these. And uh, I'll show you them once we pack them all up. Okay, thanks. Alright guys, pick up complete, car full. Uh, I shall show you what we picked up. So, as you can see, the majority of it is computer monitors. So there's a lot of keyboards and stuff in there as well. So that's fine, we can take out the kind of silver plated card out of the keyboard, we'll take off the cords, and then we'll process all of these monitors. I'd say there probably is about 20 of them in there. A couple of other little items, as you can see along the front, a couple of kettles, a couple of other little things uh, in the front. <coughs> Photos in any light on iPhone 14 and in the Vodafone sale, it's just £38 per month. Plus Done that £90. We've got a fan here, uh, sorry, a heater. We've got uh, uh, another monitor in there. Should open in this door is a good idea. Oh, wait a second. As you can see, you can see all the kind of keyboards and monitors in there. And then we've got that little baby down there. I'm hoping that works because that's pretty cool. And that's it, so I think 20 monitors, possibly 20 keyboards, uh, and three kettles. So plenty for us to do there guys, just made a bit of space in the shed and it's just going to be taken up again by uh, all these uh, monitors. So nothing to it but to do it get them in the car, uh, well they're in the car, but get them down to the shed and get them scrapped out. Scrapping ain't easy folks. Alright guys, back home and plugged in the disco lights and as you can see there is light coming from the disco lights. There is one bulb that isn't working, but that's fine. You can get a replacement bulb, but uh, nice to see some working lights. Yeah. So the green light clearly doesn't work. I have swapped the bulbs around. It is just the uh, the bulb that's not working. So that's fine. No problem there at all. So nice set of lights there. Uh, for free. Superb. I did notice the lights were reactive as well. So far. Let it run like this. Just gives a normal interval. Bit of a create a beat. The lights are reactive to the beat. Awesome. Alright guys, so here's my pile of monitors. And a couple of other little items. And now as you can see, takes up quite a bit of space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm not going to process all these tonight in one day so it's getting a bit late so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the stands off them and then I can lie them flat and store them until I have time to process them so I've already done three uh, I'm not sure how many I've got left so I've got two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 that I can see. I think there's probably a couple more than that as well. So I would say all in all, maybe 23, 24 monitors. Uh, and as I say, I'm not going to process them all tonight. So I'm just going to take the stands off them and stack them under the bed. All right. All right, guys. So uh, one by one, I'm just going to take stands off of these and then I'm going to stack these underneath the bench where we've cleared some space out. Yes, there is space cleared.
Now a lot of these stands, a lot of them do have aluminium in them uh, and other ones have steel. Some of them just have plastic so it's luck of the draw but again if it's more aluminium for the pile then all good. I tried to split it to see if there was any more melon so I think it's just plastic. This base looks glass. Certainly glass. I'm not going to try and punch that center piece out at the moment because just break the glass and there's enough mess in here at the moment. This isn't magnetic, I think it's aluminium. Quick little brush with a grinder just to see if it sparks. sparking so it's stainless steel. Just plastic, so nothing to keep there. Alright guys, I'll bring you back once I've uh, completed the rest of them. Okay guys, so that's me taking all the stands off the TVs now. Uh, and stacked up the TV so I can process them later. Uh, I did get quite a bit of steel. Uh, lots of plastic waste which I've put in the plastic recycling. Uh, some aluminium as well. There's this big aluminium stand I've got here. Uh, this thing. It's like a two monitor stand. 
and that's uh, all cast aluminium, all of it. Okay, uh, you can see down here under the bench is my stack of monitors. So they'll get processed later, but taking the stand off them has really helped save some space. And then we've got some aluminium, which we took off the TVs. Not a great deal, but a little bit. A little bit. A little bit's good. A little bit of stainless steel as well. And that's it guys, so... You know, you can't process everything as soon as you get it. Sometimes you just have to stack it and come back to it. And uh, that's what I'm doing this evening. So, hope you found that one interesting, guys. Again, a little pick-up, uh, a little sort afterwards, uh, and a little stack for uh, later processing. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you do, hit that subscribe button, guys, as always. And do like the video as well. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, and leave a comment below. Uh, and if you can, Share it out with your community as well. Okay. Thanks guys. See you next time on Scrap in Scotland. Bye now.